If you're looking to buy your first home here in San Diego, one of the best options people tend to go towards is a condominium or townhome. I'll get into the differences, similarities in all those in this video. But one of the main reasons is because of pricing. Here in San Diego, a, an attached home, so condos and townhomes, are averaging right now about $750,000, where a single family home is averaging closer to that $1.3 million mark. So you can see price difference is quite significant. But in this video, we're gonna break down, first off, the similarities and differences of a condo versus a townhome. Now, a townhome is technically a condo. It's just how it's classified when they did build the projects. But I'm gonna go over kind of my differences and similarities and what my thoughts are on a condo when you're thinking kind of those downtown condos, typically where you have somebody above or below, maybe a little bit more apartment style, where a townhome, maybe you do still share a wall, but it more or less lives a little bit more like a single family home. So we're gonna get into all that. And if you are liking what you're seeing, be sure to throw us a thumbs up and subscribe. We're dropping new videos here every single week on all things San Diego real estate. And if you did wanna get that conversation started, I'm Chris Erickson with the Beach Life Group. You can book a discovery call with us right down below and get the conversation rolling. So dive in and get all your questions answered. We'll hop on a Zoom call and make sure that you know everything you need to know about buying a home here in San Diego. So let's get into it. So like I mentioned, condos and townhomes, a townhome is a condo. There's also detached condos, communities within San Diego, but today we're just focused on that townhome style versus that condo style, where like I said, maybe you have somebody above or below, you're living in maybe a high rise building or a bigger building, you're definitely sharing more than just the two walls, you're sharing one up or down as well. But starting off with one of the similarities, the ownership and structure of both is relatively the same, where you own the individual unit and you pay a monthly fee to a HOA or homeowners association, which I'll get into a little bit down below as well, but it is typically your responsibility for everything inside the unit and the HOA will take care of everything outside the unit. Now there's a little nuances here and there. And the HOA also will put restrictions on what can and can't be done to the home. So, you know, if you're living in a condo downtown, potentially there's some restrictions on what kind of flooring you can put in because noise and stuff for each level, or if you're putting stuff to the walls because they're shared walls. And townhomes are similar too, where you're sharing a structure. So you can't go paint your house, your put, you know, your part of the home a different color or anything. HOA, HOA takes care of that, plus roofs, plus a lot of other stuff. So there are some similarities in the structure and ownership. So let's hop into the HOA and regulations. In a condo complex, the one of the main differences between HOA in a townhome complex or uh, that condo complex is going to be the amount you're gonna pay every month. It's typically gonna be more in that high rise style building Anywhere, you know, downtown San Diego, you're looking like six, seven, eight hundred bucks for a monthly HOA fee. Whereas a typical townhome community here in San Diego, it could range from on the very low end, maybe 250, going 350, 450, kind of in that range. So there is quite the price discrepancy for that monthly HOA fee. But the HOA, kind of the layout, the structure is gonna be basically all the same. You're gonna have monthly meetings, not you, but I mean, you can attend if you are part of that homeowners association where you could have your input every month. They're gonna go over kind of what projects they're working on, what the funding's looking like, like what kind of stuff is gonna go on within the community. So it's actually pretty good if you wanna be in the know, but you as a homeowner are part of the HOA. You are part of the homeowners association. But the biggest difference, like I said, is going to be the price points. Another big difference between condos and townhomes is kind of that common area and amenities. Typically downtown, part of the reason the HOA fees are a bit higher is because you have more amenities, especially right on property. Maybe you have a gym, maybe a rooftop deck, common areas, maybe some courtyards, maybe some uh, security or you know doorman, that kind of stuff, underground parking, whatever it might be. So the HOA is kind of taking care of all that. Plus the bigger building, there's not as much stuff that you have to worry about. Obviously everything within your unit, but other than that, there's not too much you have to take care of. Kind of similar for townhomes, but expect maybe a little bit more of that outdoor area, and specifically in the townhome complex I live in. We have a little backyard, which we do take care of. And if we want to put in some turf, put in a little bit of stuff in the back, 
that is up to us. And then there's also some more common areas. So there's some green space around. There's some other areas to cruise. There's a little clubhouse with a pool. There's some tennis courts, that kind of thing is what to typically expect in a townhome community. Now they're all gonna be different, so if you're looking something specific, you really gotta dial that in. But also in this townhome style community, the HOA is taking care of any of the outdoor stucco, you know, any of the outdoor painting, the roof, the fences, all that outdoor, you don't have to take care of landscape. There's landscapers that come once a week. So there is a little bit of differences there as well. Now going into privacy and space, I would say a condominium, depending, these are all really kind of broad because it's really dependent on where your actual unit is. You know, typically downtown, you have other buildings around. Maybe you have one wall of glass. You're kind of looking out depending on what your view is. So privacy there, plus you have somebody above you, maybe somebody below you, somebody on each side of you. So the privacy is a little bit less, I would see in those condos. When you get to a townhome, you're still typically sharing a wall maybe two walls, but for the most part, there's not somebody above or below you. So it lives a little bit more like a single family home. And while in a condo complex, you know, like I mentioned, you might have some underground parking or a few parking spaces, typically in a townhome, not all of them, but a lot of townhomes here in San Diego have some sort of garage. So maybe a single car garage, a lot have two car garages. So even a little bit more extra space where in a condo you might have your parking space with a little storage locker or something like that, but not necessarily your own private garage space. Now hopping into maintenance and upkeep, which we have covered a little bit, you're gonna be responsible for everything on the inside. So if you got house cleaners coming, they're gonna be cleaning your house, that's on you. Uh, you don't have really have to worry about landscaping on either because the HOA is covering that unless you have a little backspace area that you have to take care of yourself. Most of the exterior maintenance is gonna be covered by the HOA. And townhomes can get a little tricky where depending on plumbing, whose responsibility is, is it HOA? Is it the residents? It's just kind of, it's dependent on every building. I would say the maintenance for a townhome is gonna be a little bit more because you're gonna have a little bit more outdoor space. A condo is pretty simple. You might have your patio, but I think condos win as far as that category goes. And now the cost and investment potential for both if you're getting into it for as your first time home. It's really important to make sure you know what you're getting into, you know what your monthly payments are gonna be, you know what you can afford every month. But I would say townhomes are gonna be slightly more expensive because they tend to be not necessarily a little bit bigger. You get bigger condos down in downtown, but they're typically going to be a little bit more like at single family residence, so a little bit more desirable, where even over the past few years, when everything was going crazy in all of San Diego, uh, everything was selling super quick, there was a little bit of a downturn in the condo market in kind of, you know, in that central metro area of downtown. Part of it was because everything was shut down, so you don't get to enjoy the amenities of the walkability down there. You don't get to enjoy kind of getting out there, getting out and about. You know, where townhomes, people are moving there. It's a little bit more suburbs, that kind of style. So the actual living of both is gonna be a little bit different. So if you want a little bit more in the action, that kind of stuff, yeah, condo's probably your move. If you want a little bit more suburban, then a townhome might be the best bet for you. And that just goes with lifestyle and community. What are you actually looking for? If you're looking for your first home, there's a lot to take into account. And so typically, if you want a little bit more space, you want a little bit more room to roam, you wanna be a little bit more in the suburbs, then townhome might be your option. Whereas if you want a little bit more of that urban lifestyle, you want a little bit more, I wanna be walkable, close to all the restaurants, close to all the shops, I just wanna go down to the first floor, I'll walk around my neighborhood, go grab something to eat, then condo, traditional condo is gonna be probably for you. Now condos, like I said, there's other of those condo style throughout San Diego as well, where you do have, maybe you're not in that walkable area, but it's that condo style where you do have somebody above, below, et cetera. Maybe it was converted apartments from the past. So you will see those pop up in your search as well, but it really comes down to what you're digging, what you're liking. Like I said, if you wanna start that conversation in the first link down below, feel free to hit us up. We got your back when we can move here in San Diego.